You know, you gotta have something you love. If I didn't like riding anymore, I, I wouldn't. But I continue to do I'm on a different bike or a different road or trail or different way to ride the bike. Uh, riding now for 33 years. Basically done them all. It's road, cross, cross country, downhill, and gravel now. Here in New Mexico is, is an area that I've been trying to get to for maybe 15 years. It's like where the plains meet the mountains. There's not a lot of people here and it's extremely quiet. The water's clean and the air's clean. I live here with my wife and a dog, two cats, two goats, nine chickens. So we work really well together here. It's a great spot to, to live and the house is 1880 schoolhouse, so it's just a shell. We're just working through it to, to make it our own. You know, first month or two we were here, there were like two or three cars that drove by every day to see what we've done or what we're doing. And they just think I'm crazy because they're all a bunch of ranchers. You know, why are you wasting your energy out riding a bicycle? <laughs> you know, which is sort of my whole thing about life is not having to work so much. I can't enjoy what I do. I could not tell you what the news is. I cannot tell you what the government's doing. I don't give a damn. My life is out there. And uh, I'm sure Alec does the same. I mean, this, this country up here is made for outdoor living. Alex, on his bike, is like me on my horse. We're in hog heaven, we really are. I mean, he can ride and ride and ride and ride, and that's what he likes to do. You know, that's why I moved here, so I had a place to ride safely in a pretty area. They, I think they understand that. Being entrepreneurial inspired by my dad, you know, he, he made everything, he did everything. Everything's possible to do. You can fix your own car, you can build your own house. I think I got that from him. Right out of school, I was working with my parents' business. It was a lot of fabrication work, which was mainly fun houses. And that carried over when I wanted to do projects on my own, bicycle related. And I got into building hardtail frames. And then as I raced more downhill, I was like, I can build down the bike, you know? And uh, then the designs just changed. I built different designs more and more for a good 10 years or so. Probably the most proud, like, on the mountain bike, I got second at Masters Worlds. You know, these are all bikes I made. What this is here is my last carbon downhill bike I made. This is the BCD Inedible High Pivot with Roller. Here, I was running 29 wheels in 2003 so i had to cut my arch to make clearance for the tires and just sort of a lightweight race rig people would just lollygag and stop because they had no idea what they were looking at or where it was from or whose bike it was so a lot of it attracted a lot of attention those the bikes i made the steel 650 mountain bike was cheap to buy because it's a heavy thing and nobody really wants to buy that bike right now. The stem is sort of a throwback to WTB and, you know, bringing the drop bars closer to your body so you can get more aggressive on them. The roads here all end up in something rougher, uh, but that's a bike that, that can handle all that uh, so I can leave from home and, and enjoy the entire ride on one bike, no matter how stupid I get.
It doesn't matter with gravel. Go ride wherever you are. There's a dirt road. And it's just you can have an adventure wherever you live. Growing up through my whole life, you know, you start making more time for things you like and realize that your time's worth more than money. I'm happy where I'm at now. I think I found my good life. Alex come riding up here on his bicycle in his stretch pants that most bicycle people ride me with. I said, hey. I said, you see them no trespassing signs? Yeah. I said, well, let's sit right here and talk about it. So I give him some jerky. He said, boy, he said, this is good jerky. He said, you mind if I take some home to the wife? I said, no. You can take all you want home with the wife. We had quite a bit. He got a handful, he stuck it in his dang britches. Took off. 